ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present one of Avonlea's most celebrated students who achieved the highest standing in the recent entrance examinations to Queen's Academy, Miss Anne Shirley. be amusing to see what uh, arises from the local amateurs after this. was a torrent of darkness among the gusty trees. The moon was a ghostly galleon tossed upon cloudy seas. The road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor. And the highwayman came riding, riding, riding. The highwayman came riding up to the old inn door. One kiss, my bonny sweetheart. I'm after a prize tonight. But I shall return with the yellow gold before the morning light. Yet if they press me sharply and harry me through the day, look for me by moonlight. Watch for me by moonlight. I'll come to thee by moonlight, though hell should bar the way. Back he spurred like a madman, shouting a curse to the sky, with the white road smoking behind him, and his rapier brandished high. Blood red were his spurs of the golden mane. Wine red was his velvet coat when they shot him down on the highway, down like a dog on the highway. And he lay in his blood on the highway with a bunch of lace at his throat. I'm calling you. I can't go back. Magnificent as Mrs. Evans. She's a professional. Well, I overheard you that little bit of young man over her. there asking who the girl well, on the platform was with the lovely not. Titian hair. Whatever that means. Plain red. It's just a fancy way of saying it. Well, he thought you were wonderful anyway. You'll forgive me for stealing her away again, won't you? There are so many people waiting to meet our young Miss Shirley. Excuse me, I don't mean to be rude, but there is someone I absolutely must speak with. I'll return right away, I promise. Very well, dear, but hurry up. I have important people waiting. 